video accompanies the free PDF download celebrating the Royal Jubilee this bank holiday weekend. So you'll find all the techniques to make yourself some bunting, some sandwiches, a cake, and of course, a mini corgi to join your queen. So head over to the top website, that'll be available until Monday. You'll be able to download a free pattern to get your street party started. So I'm going to show you all the techniques that you'll need to be able to download your free PDF pattern this weekend and make all these goodies. So firstly, you're going to get the mini corgi and I'm not going to do specific techniques for these. Anyone that's an Ed's Animals fan will be quite familiar with making a mini. The only thing that's a little bit different that I'll show you up close is that you just embroider a little patch of um, cream onto the chest there and you embroider the inners of the ears. Do both those things after you've sewn up when you're putting your mini corgi together. Then you've got included some bunting, a Victoria sponge, some sandwiches, a flag and a champagne bottle, of course, to get your celebrations started. So I'm just going to start with the bunting um, so that you've got an extra technique to help you along your way. So the way I've done this bunting is a red, white and blue bunting and I've done two cream triangles for each of the red or blue. So it'll go cream, ruby, cream, blue, cream, ruby, cream, blue. So when you've made your little um, triangle for your individual piece of bunting, sew all your ends in and then what you need to do is tie a slip knot and do a chain. So one, two, three, four. And then you're actually going to double crochet across the top of each piece of bunting. So your point is down. You're going to do around six stitches across the top of each one. Five and six. Then chain four again in between. One, two, three, four and then pick up your next one and just add them on to your piece of bunting like that. Now, this is a really fun one, whether you're gonna be using it for um, doing photos, which is what I really would love you to share this weekend. I'd love to see lots of photos of your queens, of your Ed's animals, of your other dolls, of your monsters, enjoying a little Jubilee party as well. So then do one, two, three, four, and then you'll just join in your next one in exactly the same way. So that's how you put your bunting together. Then, when it comes to making your sandwiches, uh, that's what I'd just like to show you, is the structure of putting the little sandwiches together. So what you're going to be doing is making lots of little slices of bread. And then there's various little bits for doing fillings that you can add. So there's a circle, which you can use multiple colours on if you want to. There's a square, so this one would represent cheese. Um, and then there's a little frill or a, a strip, which could be a little bit of salad. Um, so those ones are all quite straightforward. Mix and match your fillings so you can fill your sandwiches up. But let me just show you how to make a piece of bread. So tie your slip knot and then chain seven stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then working back down that chain, we're going to double crochet one. We're going to treble one. Then we're going to double treble two. And you can download this pattern free this weekend. So head over to the Toff website and you can actually download the pattern for all of these things that you see here, the bunting, the corgi, the sandwiches and the champagne bottle. So you double treble two, then treble one again and then double crochet one. Then you're going to go straight ahead and chain seven again. So one, two, three, four, five six and seven and then do exactly the same thing that we just did so double crochet into that one treble into the next one double treble double treble again treble again and double crochet. Now what you've made is two strange little triangles um, that are attached together off the bottom. And what you're going to do is turn them into a triangle shape that's a bit like a, a 3D pillowcase. So take your two bottom lines, you see how you've got them like that? 
take your two bottom lines like that and put them together. So that's leaving me the tops of my double trebles in the middle and a straight line where my chains were along the bottom. And for those that are advanced crocheters, you will have a right side facing and a wrong side facing, but don't worry about that. Your right side could form the outside of your sandwich. Your um, wrong side facing can form the inside where you put your fillings. Um, but with those double trebles, you can barely see the difference between the right side and the wrong side anyway. So put your two chains along the bottom so you've got your straight line there and then just double crochet up to join them together. So you're going to put your hook in through that stitch there and in through the one that's on the sandwich piece behind you like that and do DC one and then DC two through that next one. And then you're going to do an increase into these two top ones. So we're going to do one and two into that one and then onto the next one one and two into that one and then double crochet those two together so that's you having gone along the top to join it together like that then in this last one we're going to color change into our camel to do our crust so just go through again yarn over to the point where you've got your two stitches and then grab a little bit of camel for your crust which i'm just going to steal off the top of my cake here to show you how to um, do it so color change across like that and then just double crochet across that base. So you're going to double crochet that final third side together, which is across that original chain that you did. So do that. And that gives you a little triangle slice of bread with that crust on it to be able to create your sandwiches. So create two for every sandwich like that. So you're going to make two for every sandwich. Then you can make your various fillings and you can sew them together. So that one's a bit of an open sandwich there. Or you can sew them together, maybe construct your sandwiches slightly more neatly than I have done there. Sew them together and you can do a little lineup of sandwiches for your dolls. So let's move on to the cake. So we've had our sandwiches. Um, time to move on to our cake. And the way that you're making um, the Victoria sponge is you're making a base a top and then a central piece and then we're just going to work some detail on to make our um jam and cream a little bit more 3d so you've made a central panel like that you've made a top which is curved and then you've made a bottom which is flat so when it comes to putting your cake together you've got a central round through the middle and then you've got a base and you've got a top so put your base onto your central piece like that put your hook through the base and then put your hook through the center piece. And all you're going to do is double crochet around the edge. So I'm going through the base first, and then I'm going into the top. And that means that the cake will have a nice curve on the bottom of it. So go right the way around, putting one stitch into every stitch. So once you're heading towards the final few stitches, leave yourself a little hole on that top and put some stuffing in because it's the time to make your cake become 3D. So put a little bit of stuffing inside your cake like that and then carry on and seal up those last few stitches. So go ahead and sew in your ends and then it's time to add in our jam and cream. So um, sew these ends in so they're nice and neat and tidy. And then to add your jam, all you need to do is slip stitch into the centre of the cream panel that you've got colour changed in there. Slip stitch and then you're just going to do a slip stitch traverse along that round there to put your layer of jam in. So you go in through the next stitch along like that, yarn over and through that one, yarn over and through that one. So you run right the way along the circumference of the cake, putting your jam line in first. So once you've got your jam line in, then you're going to work the cream on top. Um, and to, to get quite an orderly little um, line of cream, what I've done is I've actually slip stitched in on the stitch above. So you've gone the one above the one that you did the ruby on. Slip stitch in, chain two stitches, and then slip stitch back into the next one. So chain two stitches and slip stitch back into the next one. So I've gone all the way around either side of my jam line. So I've done it across the top and then I've done it across the bottom. And that just puts that wiggly wobbly line of extra cream in, which will make it a little bit more 3D. Then your finishing touches to your cake. So that's how I've done my slip stitch traverse of my um, ruby through the middle. I've done my wiggly chains on the outside. Finishing touches is your two strawberries. 
So to do your two strawberries, you're just going to make a bobble and then you actually you do the rest with embroidery, which we'll talk about a little bit more when we come on to our flag in a second. So we've made our sandwiches, we've made our cake, you've done your bottle of champagne, the bunting's hung up. The last thing we need is a Union Jack flag to finish off the celebrations. And all you're going to be doing is actually working on the top of a flat piece of crochet. Now, if you want this to be two-sided, um, what I would say to do is to actually make two of them. And then what you can do is crochet them together. So put the two squares together and crochet around the edge. Whereas I'm definitely crocheting it for a photo. So it's going to look great on one side um, and then all my ends will be on the other side. But at least if you do two of them, you can just um, avoid that by putting them together. So once you've made your rectangle of cream, what you need to do is put your hook in and we're actually going to slip stitch across the um, strong thick lines of red fur. So put your hook in and exactly as we did to add our jam, onto our Victoria sponge, we go across the centre. So put that one in first, then put your one going in the opposite direction so you've got that into position. And then you need to just embroider your four diagonals into position. So while I'm just doing this, um, just to say, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed downloading your free patterns that you can find over on the TOF website this bank holiday weekend. Please tag me into your photos. So use these accessories to make yourself some lovely Jubilee party pictures, whether it's with your Ed's animals, your Ed's dolls, uh, with your monsters or with your queen itself if you um, got one of those kits back in March. And make sure you do share those pictures using the hashtag TOFTUK so I can share them on our social media channels this weekend. So once you've got your four thick lines in, all we're going to do is embroider the diagonals in a thinner red. So just to put those in, all you're going to do is go across and do one strip of red like that. Obviously do so all of your ends in. Yeah, so we've got our four diagonals of red in. And the last bit to finish your flag off is to just get your blue yarn and you just embroider in between the thick red and the thin red. So you're going to just embroider blue into a little triangle in between. Now, let me show you. This is one final finishing touch, how you would attach your flag onto your pole. So I've just used a, ch a cocktail stick for that there. And if you want to crochet that flag onto your pole ready for um, your photos, all you need to do is put your hook in the flag and the stick in between and you go in and you crochet around the pole like that. So you double crochet and you go in through the flag, round underneath the back of the pole like that, pick it up and then crochet through. And you just run down and work those stitches around that pole and that will attach your flag neatly onto your flagpole ready for waving so wishing you all um a lovely long bank holiday weekend for the queen's jubilee um i hope you have a lovely time crocheting these little accessories and i look forward to seeing your pictures